Both Ahmed and I had a love for cinematic films, and I think we both wanted to take this film into quite a traditional sort of epic, cinematic, widescreen feel. For budgetary constraints, we had to shoot digitally, and, now, and uh, the challenge was how, how do you get a digital film to look as if it had been shot on 35mm. With the actual an anamorphic lenses we used, they were, they were lenses from the 1930s that had been rehoused and modified. So rather than going for the sort of the digital super sharp thing, we've gone for a very velvety soft feel uh, with Last Passenger. You know, we, we made a very traditional film in a very untraditional way. On Last Passenger we used a real train as a set. We didn't have any flyaway walls, which are traditional in most movies. Uh, we had to sort of work with around the, uh, around the existing seats. We had to work along those narrow little corridors. It was a real squeeze for such a, you know, for any sort of film crew. And it was a struggle to, uh, a struggle to make it work at times. <laughs> One of the key elements of Last Passenger is that we used rear projection for, for what was happening outside of the train. To capture that um, within our limited means, we ended up shooting from a real train using six Canon 5D cameras rigged in such a way that we got forward, sideways and front facing views out of the train on both sides of the train at the same time. We captured a huge amount of footage, hours and hours and hours of footage. That allowed us to essentially have 270 degrees of travelling shots, all of which were interlinked. And then, again, the way that the way there was water drops on the windows and steam on the windows, you could never have done that with green screen. You know, it's great. The actors love it because they've got things to react to. As you storm through a station, um, the other actors respond to the station going by. I think it's much easier for actors. It's a bit of a pain for the guy who has to find the footage, but it's <laughs> much easier for the actors. One of the great rear projection shots in the film is when young Max is looking out of the window and another train pulls alongside and he sees a young boy on the other train and he waves. And what I love about that shot is that that's all rear projection. What we did is we filmed another little boy on our same train, then we projected it onto the rear projection screen. It just shows how well rear projection can work. That's the curse of all filmmakers is that as you make a film you think, uh, I hope that I hope this doesn't work. I hope, and you know, and you come away at the end of it thinking, "Wow, I think we got away with that." And then, sort of a year down the line, you're looking at a film and thinking, "Wow, that really did work." 